Hi, and welcome to JJ's Food Reviews. I'm back for another review, and I've got something special today. Look at this. It's the guacamole crispy chicken sandwich from McDonald's. And I believe this sandwich costs in the neighborhood of about $5. It looks amazing, first of all. It has this nice shiny bun. Shine the light on it nice. Yeah, it looks, it looks really awesome to me. I mean, you've got guacamole. It doesn't look like, I mean, it looks like it probably came from a packet, some sort of packet. It just doesn't look like you can make at home. But it looks pretty decent. And then there's that tomatoes, like kind of like a pico de gallo type thing. With uh, some onions and some lettuce and, uh, and then the chicken itself and some cheese. Oh, and look at this. There's a lime. That's, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm doing a kind of a late review. It's nighttime, so I'm not talking super loud so I don't wake up my neighbors. Anyway, here we go. Let's give that a try. Mmm. Well, that's quite good. Okay, so that chicken is good. The breading is nice. Um, the breading is a little bit salty for me, but it's still very good. But um, I really like the flavors of like the chicken and that cheese mixing with like the guacamole and kind of the flavor, the uh, citrusy, tart, like um, tangy flavor from this lime and uh, that pico de gallo. It's not too spicy, but it has a really good flavor. So the flavors, the way they mix, they just taste great and the bread is kind of sweet. So you just get kind of a chicken, kind of crispy chicken sort of flavor, kind of, kind of on the salty side, mixing with just kind of the fresh pico de gallo sort of taste of like onions and tomatoes and herbs and the lettuce, you know, and then that, that tart, uh, limey, um, tangy flavor of the lime and the guacamole has that kind of, kind of tangy flavor from the avocado. Well, avocados aren't really tangy. They don't taste like a whole lot by themselves, but guacamole has lime juice and stuff in it. So yeah, this is a pretty amazing sandwich basically. Um, I don't really find anything wrong with it. The salt level for me is a little bit higher than I'd like. Some people might find it just right. But uh, other than that, I don't think I'd change anything. Um, it's just really nice flavor profile. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because it was a little salty for me. Um, that's the only, only thing I didn't really like. But everything else is perfect. So 9, nine out of 10 is a great, excellent rating. And... Uh, the guacamole, by the way, it tastes pretty good. Um, it tastes about as good as you can get without making it at home or having it freshly made in a restaurant. It tastes like, I don't know if they really made it. It kind of looks too smooth and pureed to be like handmade to me. Like it was probably made in some sort of machine or maybe, maybe it was delivered in a packet and they put it in, but, but that said, it's about as good as you can get without like fresh handmade wak, not kind of like fresh handmade guacamole. So really good guacamole, uh, pleasantly surprised at how good it was. It wasn't like plasticky tasting or something. So yeah, nine out of 10 sandwich, excellent. And very close to being 10 out of 10, but just a little too salty for me, otherwise perfect. So yeah, nine out of 10, I like it very much. And uh, I highly recommend you try it. They also have it with like a hamburger instead of a chicken. So seeing as that might not be as salty, you know, that might be even better. So, so yeah, I recommend it. Go out and try this. 
and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon for another JJ's Food Review. Take care.